whole class, hope you're all okay. Today in maths we're going to be thinking about counting and writing numbers up to 20, mainly focusing on those teen numbers. What I want you to look at here is I want you to look at these four pictures and I want you to think about which one doesn't belong and why. So the first picture we've got tens, okay, we've got ten cubes like our tens and ones that we use in school, we've got ten ones. The second one is a Numicon 10. The third one is a hand, five. And the last one are ten straws. So the one that doesn't belong is the hand because it's only showing five. All the other ways show ten. I wonder who got that one right. Okay, next one. This time we're going to look at matching the number to the picture. So have a look at the pictures, have a look at the numbers, which one matches up. So the first one is five. Which one is five? Is it the beads, the fingers, the counters or the numicon? It is the counter, so we would draw a line to that one. Which one is showing 11? So 11 is made up of 10 and one more, which we're going to be looking at this week is the beads well done so we've got 10 beads and one white one as an extra so it's 10 and one and then number nine is the numicon and number four is there are the fingers well done if you got that one right okay next one seven 14 four and 20 so which one shows which have a little look so we've got seven which matches the Numicon, 14 which matches the tens frame, 4 which matches the cubes and last but not least 20 which matches the two tens. Well done if you got that right. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to write the number and word all the way up to 20. So we'll do the first couple for you and it goes in a pattern and then I want you to write them all down and then I will show you the counters and you can check the word to make sure you've got the right spelling because you need to be able to write all the number words up to 20. So let's have a look. So here we have one counter on our tens frame. So we have one, so I would write the number one and the word one, okay? Then, this time I've got two. So again, I would write the numeral and the word. So I would write the number two and the word two. We'll do one more and then you're going to do it on your own. So here we have three counters. So again, I would write three and the word three. So what I want you to do is I want you to write the number and word for all numbers up to 20. Remember those teen numbers and how we spell them. We have done this in class. Have a go and then so pause the video now and then when you press play, I will go through it and then you can check your spellings. So here we have four and I've written the numeral four and the word four. So as we go through, don't forget to give yourselves a take, make sure you've got your numeral the right way around and the word is spelt correctly. If it isn't spelt correctly, then make sure that you write it the right way because you need to know how to spell these words as well as write the number. Then we've got five. Six. Ten. Some of them are easier to spell than others. <laughs> I'm sure you got that one right. Eleven. This is where it gets a little bit trickier with our teen numbers. Twelve. Thirteen. 
13. So again, make sure that you've got your 10 first and then your ones. Make sure the numeral is the correct way around. 14. Sixteen. Hope you're doing okay, whole class. I'm trying to give you a little bit of time in between. <laughs> Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And twenty. Hope you got on okay with that whole class. So remember, if you've got any wrong, then just keep practicing those words, the same or the numeral. Um, you, you know, like I said, you need to know those, so just keep practicing. But well done. Don't forget to email Mrs. Jackson and Miss Creaser. Right, next activity. So this time we're doing some number track work, a bit like what we did the other day, but this time it's in ones. So I want you to write down the missing numbers. So the missing numbers, it would be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Next one. It would be 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Next one. 10 the answers 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So some are going forwards, some are going backwards. Next one. And the answer is 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Next one. And the answer is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next one. And the answer is 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Okay, so a little bit trickier now, a bit longer the number tracks this time. So again, same way, missing numbers, complete them. And the answer, so we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then the second one goes backwards. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Well done if you got all those correct. So we're really focusing on those teen numbers now in the next couple of videos that we're going to do. So have a look at these numbers. Which one doesn't belong which one is incorrect and why? Have a little think. Yeah, so if we look at those numbers, it says 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, but then the next one says 71, 18, 19. So the one that doesn't belong is 71 because it's not part of that sequence, is it? The digits are the wrong way around. So instead of writing 17, you must make sure that your one, which represents 10, is first, and then your seven, as with all the other teen numbers. And that's something that some of us sometimes get a little bit muddled up with. So that's why we're going to practice our teen numbers. So remember, the 10 comes first. What about this one then? Which one doesn't belong this time? Yeah, 
there. So this time it's 51 because we should have been writing 15. So we don't write it as 5 and 1. We should be writing it as 1 and 5, which is a 10 and a 5. Remember, those 1s cover up that 0, don't they? they hide it. It's that placeholder. So we always write the 1, which represents the 10 first for our teen, and then the 5 for 15. Okay, this time we've got an Astro B, and he wants to know if you agree with him. He says, if I start counting from 7 and count all the way to 20, I will say 14. Is Astro B correct or not? And I want you to explain your answer. So have a little think. What does that mean? Maybe you can tell you've grown up, or you can write it down and end it to Miss Creaser and Mrs Jackson. So if we start counting from 7 all the way up to 20, let's see if we say 14. So we're ready. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So yeah, I counted from 7 to 20 and I heard myself say 14. So yes, I agree with Astro B. And if we're counting in ones from 7 to 20, we know that 14 is less than 20, more than 7. So we're going to say it. Hope you got that one right, whole class. So that's it for today. We've been doing lots of activities in between this. Think about our numbers to 20. So if you need to practice those words, practice writing your words down, watch this video a couple of times if you need to, or get your grown-ups to help you. Make sure your numerals are the correct way around. And in the next few videos, we're going to be looking at tens and ones. Stay safe, whole class.